In this video, we're going to show you everything you need to know to pick the right oil for your sprayer. Now, we're going to throw around a couple technical terms. You're going to need to remember this one, this one, and this one right here, which is really just a mixture of the two. So, all those terms refer to is the MB stamp of approval. So, regardless of the manufacturer, this is the back of a quart of Mobile One, for example. If we zoom in, you see that MB approved. 229.52 this line right here this is all we care about particularly for this this number right here is all we care about all it's really referencing is additives but we'll get to that later don't pay attention to the viscosity numbers don't pay attention to the manufacturer doesn't matter if it's AutoZone if it comes straight from the dealer it really does not matter notice here there exists an entire sheet of different approved manufacturers creating oil for different viscosities so Manufacturer doesn't matter. Viscosity numbers don't really matter. So here we'll be discussing the main differences between this oil, the 229.52, the fancier, newer one, and the older one, which is just 229.5. Those are really all the numbers you need to know. Let's get into it. Here I have a list of all the approved diesel spec MB229.52. It's the newest and most improved standard for diesel engines. Now, this is an entire list. It's made up of multiple manufacturers, and essentially they've gone through it and just determined that, yes, these specific oils do in fact meet our criteria. What is that criteria? Well, essentially the primary goal of this oil spec is what's, um, what's known as uh, SAPS. So if you do a quick Google search of um, SAPS diesel oil or something along those lines, you'll see it's associated with um, sulfated ash, phosphorus, and sulfur. These components are generally additives and the detergents to the oil. Uh, for example, here we have a sample text where it says the term sulfated ash related to the amount of metallic elements in the oils, which are mostly derived from the engine's oil detergent and anti-wear additive chemistry. This, along with multiple other forms, will tell you, you know, hey, when saps are removed, it's not a very good lubricant. It doesn't protect it nearly as well as the older version. That is the 229.5, the cheaper oil. Now, you might ask, why does this oil exist if it is, in fact, worse for your engine than the older oil, the stuff I have here, the MB229.5, that is just the, the exact equivalent without the two, the two, the... 229.51 and 229.52 are essentially, quote, improvements or updates on this oil. So why does this new grade of oil exist if it is, in fact, worse for your engine? Well, to answer that, we need to consider the modern emission systems. So essentially, this specific oil is what we can consider emissions optimized, whereas the old one, 229.5 alone, is essentially engine optimized. I hope that makes sense. Stay with me here for a little bit longer and you'll see what I mean. So ultimately we have additives that are good for the engine, but bad for your emission systems. So this option here uses other sort of lower quality additives, arguably lower quality additives, which are created so that they don't have this hazardous effects or adverse effect on your emission system. However, they aren't quite as good for your engine as the older oil. All right, let's summarize everything we've gone over. The additives and detergents that exist in this new and improved oil is better for your emission system and worse for your engine. Ultimately, what that means is that if you have the very limited emission systems that exist in these older model years, 02 to 06, you want the oil, the 229.5 oil. It is the best oil for your engine. Since you don't really have, you have very limited emissions, that's the oil you want. If you have anything above 2007 where a DPF filter exists, you really want the newest and improved oil. You generally want to skip this 229.51. You can use it if you're in a bit of a jam, but I would just suggest use the most, uh, use the one with the lowest uh, sulfated ash, phosphorus, and sulfur content. It, will make a difference on your DPF filter and a minor difference on your SCR system. It's, it's generally, generally affects your DPF filter the most. So again, anything north of 2007, that's a diesel is going to have that DPF filter. All right. One exception, if you live in Mexico or you happen to be utilizing your vehicle on a farm and you don't, you're not required to um, abide by those stringent emission standards. If you do have emissions modifications where you've may possibly removed your DPF filter and SCR, 
utilize the oil that's best for your engine. So if you have emissions, use what's best for your emissions. If you don't have emissions, use what's best for your engine. Now that you know exactly what oil to purchase for your Sprinter, go ahead and click this video and I'll show you where to find it for the cheapest price.